For Andre Mordavitz, a husband and father of five, this hard piece of steel is and forever will be a reminder of how precious life is. Yeah, it looks like it's a miracle for me. Yeah, it's God mercy and miracle. So I'm still alive and I'm talking to you. Life's uh, good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God is good also, yeah. <laughs> Mordavis works for the city of Seattle. He was on his way home around three in the afternoon Thursday, listening to, of all things, Christian radio. I saw something in front of my windshield, but I don't realize what is it. That thing was a steel rod, and it was heading right for his face. One eighth of an inch lower and done. Photos taken from the scene show that same rod lodged into the roof of his car. A man who was thrilled to only receive eight stitches at the hospital. <laughs> State troopers want anyone with any information to come forward. They don't know where this came from, but say it's safe to assume it's the byproduct of an unsecured load. The uncovered loads of gravel trucks, trucks carrying, you know, construction debris, things like that. Back in November, we told you about this man who filed two auto glass claims in a year due to falling debris. I would love to see the law change where dump trucks, gravel trucks, anything like that has to have a covered load. I'd like to see the law change for that. An unsecured load is illegal in Washington state and some lawmakers want to step up penalties for those who don't comply. I'm glad I'm alive. But Mordavitz isn't focused on legislation or even where the rot came from. His focus now is sharper than ever on the things in life that matter. Looks like God prepared me to, to, go, <laughs> to go to heaven, but he decided to leave me there. We've been standing on the side of the road for just a couple minutes. I want to show you this. I was just looking around at what's near my feet. That presumably coming off a truck or something, it is uh, against the law to not secure your load if something were to fly off and injure somebody causing bodily harm. According to State Patrol, it's a gross misdemeanor that can mean a $5,000 fine or up to a year in jail. In Federal Way, Sebastian Robertson, King 5 News.